Why we cannot make stable social relationships with more than 150 people? Today, we're about to discuss a fascinating concept known as Dunbar's number. Have you ever wondered why you can't maintain meaningful relationships with an infinite number of people? Well, Dunbar's number, a sociological theory, might just have the answer. In this video, we'll explore what Dunbar's number is and why it matters. Dunbar's number is named after British anthropologist Robin Dunbar, who proposed this theory in the early 90s. His research focused on the relationship between the size of the neocortex in primates' brains and the complexity of their social relationships. Dunbar's findings led to the theory that humans have a cognitive limit to the number of stable social relationships they can maintain, which became known as Dunbar's number. That number is often cited as approximately 150, although the exact figure can vary between individuals. This number represents the maximum number of meaningful social relationships a person can effectively manage. These relationships can range from close friends and family to acquaintances. Dunbar's number is not a one-size-fits-all concept. It's often broken down into different layers, each representing a different level of social closeness. At the core are the closest relationships, often referred to as the inner circle. These might include your closest family members and best friends. The next layer consists of around 50 people, comprising good friends. Beyond that, you have acquaintances and familiar faces, eventually reaching the extended social network. The implications of Dunbar's number are quite profound. It helps us understand human behavior and social structures. This theory can explain why people tend to form close-knit groups, tribes, or communities. It explains why we have a natural tendency to congregate in smaller, more manageable units, as larger groups would be too complex to maintain meaningful relationships with. In today's interconnected world, Dunbar's number remains relevant. However, it faces challenges in the digital age, where social media allows us to connect with far more people than our ancestors could. While social media expands our social reach, it doesn't necessarily translate into meaningful, close relationships. Many of our online connections fall into the outer layers of Dunbar's number, where relationships might be more superficial. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button or subscribe button for more interesting topics.